Hello guys, this is Mike from Visotech and in this particular lesson I will be taking you through buffer analysis. So what is buffer and GIS? Buffer is just trying to create a region around your particular feature of interest. Your feature can be a vector data, which can be a point, a line or a polygon. So buffer is actually used to create an equal distance from the target. So what is the use cases? Most times they are used for proximity analysis or site suitability. Let me quickly give you an example. You will find that there are situations that a government of a particular country just decide to, to demolish some houses. Why? Because they actually fall in that particular zone from a road network or probably a, a oil, oil station, a police station. Why? Because there is a particular um, meter that they are not supposed to be close to the road network as the case may be. So you find that this particular building they are collapsed because they are trying to fall into the buffer zone where they are actually specifying in the first place that buildings, residential buildings are not supposed to be located close to an expressway or highway. So using buffer you can do um, some analysis for you to know those areas, those buildings that actually fall within some meters away from the expressway or island. So here is one typical example of using buffer and GI. So here I'll be taking you through uh, how to use buffer analysis in QGIS. So please don't go. Stay tuned. So here we are guys. Now um like I said we want to look at um, buffer buffer analysis. So, um, I have two layers in my map uh, window here. My, my viewer window, I have the hospitals and legal schools. So, the purpose of this training is to find out the, the um, schools that are within um, 2,000 km. Schools within 2,000 km of a pediatric hospital. Schools that are within 2000, sorry, 2000 meter of a pediatric hospital. So, if we explore the hospitals in the attribute table, we know that we have other class of hospitals such as uh, maternity, dentist, and neurological. Uh, we are interested in the pediatric hospitals, and if you look at uh, in our entries here. We have only two of them, that is the Bodan Hospital and the Strong Child Hospital. So we'll come to that later. Then we have our legal schools. Let's also explore that data. So we have 107 entries. And like I said, our interest is just to know those schools that are within 2 um, kilometers or 2,000 meters of a pediatric hospital. So, we might need this information in case of an emergency or for site and suitability. So, the, those are some of the purpose or the need for a buffer analysis. Aside from a, because we are using point features here, it might be, you might want to, um, for the oil and gas sector, for pipeline routing, you might want to, um, I think there's a standard of, um, of um, buffer, and the, the proximity of um, buildings, residential areas um, are not supposed to be close to a, a, a pipeline uh, route. So I think there's a there's a buffer. I don't know the extent here. So probably you want to site a pipeline in, the, in a particular area. So you can just model your route and create a buffer around the pipeline to know if your your structure will be posing danger to residential building in that particular area of interest. So these are some of the reasons for doing buffer analysis. It helps a lot in site suitability. So yeah, want to, like I said, want to um, know the schools that are within um, 2,000 meters of a pediatric hospital. So the first thing we need to do here after exploring our data is to Selects the, school, the hospitals that we're interested in. So, what we need to do, we need to go back to the open attributes so we can manually select our data. Yes, we have just six entries. 
you can use our control then select the row one two so but what about the situations that you have um, hundred of entries that you can start selecting one after the other so in that case it is um, good it is better to use the um, select by expression function so here yeah, in this window now you can just use the class um, column to specify the type of hospital that you are interested in and here in our, in our training here you are interested in a pediatric um, hospital so what you can do is under this window here you just go to your fields and values when you click on this arrow it gives you the option to select what columns you are interested in so here yeah, I am going to select class with double click so you can see it here so now class you need to use the equals to sign oh we have double equals to sign to specify the type of hospital you are interested in so to go to the type of hospital you are interested in you need to click on all unique you selected the column you are interested in so you need to click on this all unique to bring out those types or those class of hospitals you have so let me click on it so you can see dentist maternity pediatric and urological so we're interested in a pediatric hospital so i'm going to double click on that you can see it over here now if you look uh, at, at the preview window beneath a uh, screen there the window here you can see you have uh, a valid um, expression let's assume you this is case sensitive let's assume it's a smaller p okay um, I'm trying to check something or even remove the plus and the equal to sign you can see expression is invalid so you have to confirm that the expression is valid before you continue so yeah now you can click on select features so when you go back to your table you can see those two class of hospitals that have been selected so yeah we know our hospitals of interest are selected so what we can this is the it there the two one two you can use that identify button or to um, confirm that so you see Bodan hospital and then strong child hospital okay so the next thing to do is now to create the buffer around this hospital to know the number of um, schools that are within that um two kilometer buffer so the next thing is to create a buffer so you can come to your processing tools here and then set for buffer you can see that's the very first thing that's come up under your vector geometry so you can double click so when you double click these windows pop up so here yeah, you have to specify your parameters so now what features are we selecting we are actually selecting hospitals right yeah hospitals and now there's a particular option here selected features only so you need to activate this for it to recognize those hospitals the two pediatric hospitals we've selected in the first place so it's going to create a buffer around those two selected hospitals so you can leave this or manipulate if you want so by default you have um, 10 uh, meters but of course we have our own specification which is what um, 2000 meters or 2 kilometers since our, our coordinates is in meters to it here so let me just write 2000 yeah so segments you might want to play around this to see what your result is going to look like end cap joint style this is just showing how the segments of the buffer of the cycle is going to look like so I'm just going to leave everything as it is so if you want to save it to a file a vector file you can use this button here so it's going to take it to a folder and then you're going to save your, your buffer as a separate um, file so I'll just click on run so you can see the buffer has been created already so for we to view our data we have to reorder our vector layers from the layer panel so I'm going to bring the buffer down you can see so this is the hospitals and this is a 2000, um, 2000 meters buffer around the hospital, the pediatric hospital. To confirm this, you can even use um, let's, let me zoom in. You can use your measure tool, use it here. 
the measuring line see from the center you can to confirm see first watch is that's 2000 you can see so our buffer is actually what correct so now we've created the buffer now let's know how many screws fall within the buffer so you can uh, what you need to do is you can go to a vector then uh, i think there's select by uh, by location uh -huh. select by location so what are we selecting here we are selecting what schools schools that intersect what the buffer zones so you now click on run are we there okay quit me selection uh huh bigger schools yeah intersect buffer zone run it's giving us another let's quickly save this buffer into a new file save features as we should file I think I have a folder already so let me just say buffer buffer zone save okay i'll leave everything else okay close so i can remove this okay all right so let's go back select by let's leave by location is a vector Reset select by location, put in a selection. Okay, what do I want to select? I want to select hospitals. Is it hospitals? School, sorry. Buffer. Let me go again. I'm coming. I want to specify features from buffer then um, hospitals that's 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 wrong so let me cancel this let me go to our hospitals open attributes okay, these are the schools open attributes Select features, okay. Natural boots, select, okay. So, we can check again. I think I will use the extract tool. Let go schools, enter sets, and buffers. Okay, let's use the extract here. If the select validation is not working, I think the extract is really the same. Extract by location. Okay. So extract features from Lego schools. I compare with the buffer. Selected features. Okay. Wrong. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So you can see. So now we can see. We've been able to select the schools that fall within um, 2,000 meters of the pediatric um, hospital. So if you go to our attribute to quickly check that. So you see now we have. 31 schools out of 107 schools in that particular area that um, 
falls within um, 2,000 meters buffer. So meaning in case of emergencies, um, these schools are closer compared to other what, schools. So let me go back and open this. Now, for a business person or the government, so a businessman might want to, um, an employee entrepreneur might want to cite another pediatric hospitals around this area to serve the schools that are clustered here. So you can see that this buffer to some extent is, um, is a useful tool for site term um, suitability. You might want to um, structure one um, hospital here, a pediatric hospital here, to serve the children in the schools, going to the schools, attending that school, or this particular one here, where we have clusters of schools. We might set another pediatric hospital over here to serve them the same children. So that's it, guys. See you later. So thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I bet you learn one or two things from the lesson. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, put on the notification button and watch out for more educative videos. See you guys next time.